Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. Uh, it is uh, Friday afternoon, bright sunny day. Always happens uh, day after the snowstorm. So we got a, a probably our biggest snowfall of the season and it's still not as much as many states got throughout the season. So uh, we got snowfall through the night and I'll, sh I'll put the camera down to give you an idea it's still not a lot. It's only about four or five inches, but believe it or not, that's probably our biggest snowfall of the season this year. So, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll show you too. Our uh, nice neighbor across the street came with the snow uh, snow blower and snow blowed our whole driveway. So, it was very thoughtful of them, very appreciative. Um, yeah, a big help, especially with our truck not being here. <laughs> That would have been much more snow I would have had to shovel. But I do have to shovel the sidewalk and uh, in front of the garage. So, so yeah, let me uh, show you what it looks like. And then I'll start shoveling. Well, the sun's so bright, it's hard to get a, a close-up view if I put the camera down below. But uh, you can see... That's the most amount of snow we got this season. Right there, I would say, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four to six inches, five or six inches, I don't know. Some places are uh, more than others, probably because of a wind drift or something. But look at this. This is uh, where the truck would have been parked. And he uh, snow blowed the entire driveway. So nice of him. But yeah, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. All right, so I better get uh, started on <laughs> getting this uh, snow shoveled. All right, as I do when I shovel, I'm going to throw my soda in the refrigerator. <laughs> and it's going to get very cold. I'm actually going to bury it right there. All right, time to get to work. All right, everyone. So I am done shoveling. Got a lot of sho uh, a lot of snow shoveled. Luckily, it was light and fluffy, so I could just like push it out of the way. <laughs> I just took it the hand shovel with one hand and was able to just push a whole line of snow out of the way. So saw the neighbor uh, come and check go out to check his mail. So I thought I'd go across and uh, thank him for what he did for us. Uh, that was super nice. So yeah, I'm just sitting down on a. Our, one of our chairs in the driveway <laughs> uh, it's actually not too bad out and so I'm enjoying uh, just relaxing out here getting some fresh air uh, yeah so you probably noticed that I've been cooking a lot on our uh, electric gr griddle and I've really come to enjoy griddle top cooking and I've been watching a lot of videos lately on griddles and um, all the new stuff they got out so, yeah, I'm going to be looking for an uh, outside portable griddle uh, to cook our meals outside this summer. Even whether it's steak or hamburgers or chicken or fajitas or whatever, I, I want to cook outside. I want to cook all our meals outside, or if not most of our meals outside this summer um, on a griddle top, which is a flat top gr uh, grill. Uh, yeah, I really come to like cooking on our electric one and I did take out some hamburger meat for tomorrow and I think I'm going to try to make some smash burgers on it for lunch tomorrow. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, what I'm, what I'm, uh, what's on my mind right now is griddle top cooking for this summer, for inside, for outside. Uh, well, for inside, you know, uh, we have the electric griddle. And like I said, uh, we've had that thing for years. I don't know how many years. We we lived in our other place when we got it. And it's been years since I used it. Probably because I put it on a lower cabinet and things got piled on it. You know how that goes. And I just didn't want to take it out. But now it's out. Now I'm going to find a place for it to stay out. And yeah, <laughs> Oh yeah, so 
tonight for supper, we're just going to have leftovers. Uh, Glenn, Glenn will have his tater tot casserole. I'll make another chicken quesadilla. I, I made enough uh, chicken, which was four tenderloins. I used two for last night and two for tonight. So, so yeah. Uh, um, truck. Uh, we hadn't heard anything from the shop this morning. So I called about 10 o'clock, left a voicemail, just looking for an update if it's been looked at. Uh, he did call back. Uh, it has not been looked at yet. He's going to try to get to it today. But uh, we don't expect anything until next week sometime. So, But we're okay. I mean, we've got our food, and whatever we need, we'll just order from Walmart. So we're okay, though. We got plenty here. We weren't planning on going anywhere anyway. So we are just going to have them. Uh, we did have a headlight out, so we're going to have them check all the lights, change whatever lights are out. Um, we're going to have them put a new battery in. I know they said when we had the alternator changed that the battery was good, but we don't know how old that battery is, so we're just going to have it a new one put in. And we'll see what the, the actual problem is. So, yeah. Oh, um, I got a new addition to the bird cam family, which means I have another bird cam. And this one is a little better in the sense that it is weatherproof, meaning if it starts raining, this camera will not get damaged or it shouldn't get damaged. So not that I would leave it out there in the pouring rain or whatever. These cameras that I have for the that I'm using for the bird cam can actually go underwater. Uh, they do have a casing that uh, makes them waterproof, but this newer one I got is actually waterproof without the cam uh, without the casing. Um, so so yeah, now we're up to two bird cams, which for this spring. Um, I really want to get capture more Oreos in the spring with the bird cam, uh, them flying in. I didn't capture that last year, so not too much like I wanted to. So, so yeah, now we're we've got two bird cams. So yeah, um, a couple of you have asked also about the food pantry if we're still going, and uh, right now we we are not going to the food pantry. Um, since the last food pantry video that I, I put out, we have not been to the food pantry. Um, and the reason for that is we are in a much better position right now. And I guess that's all it comes to is we're in a much better position and we've got quite a bit of food. So, and it's also space constraints. Um, you just start to run out of space and that's it. You know, so we are in a better position right now. Um, yeah, so, and as you can see, we're still grocery shopping. We're, we're still stocking up with our grocery hauls. We're, we're getting stock up items here and there. Um, so, yeah, it's working out, and we're doing much better. So, um, just in case more of you were wondering, and I know some of you that... Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe because you you like the food pantry hauls, and I I apologize that there won't be any more food pantry hauls, and uh, I hope that you would stay with the channel, and I I hope you've come to like the channel, um, not just for the food pantry hauls, but for everything I put out. So, um, but if you decide to leave because of no more food pantry hauls. Um, but I just thank you for the time you have been with the channel and I understand if you do leave. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much what's going on. Yeah. We're just in a, in a better position. It's probably the best position we've been in, in a long time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess probably going to start heading in the house as I when I'm moving I feel that it's nicer out but now that I'm sitting down it, it's starting <laughs> I'm starting to feel the cold a little bit so a blue jay just landed in the feeder so all right I'm going to head in the house 
see what happens today.